Hey everyone, this is Preston with Better Pastures Farm. So today we are moving the bulls to this lease piece that we just barely got. It's crazy, it's loaded with thistle, but it's got some grass, so. We only got it for a few months, so we're gonna do what we can with it. And see what happens, rotate these bulls through it. We got them crowded up in there pretty good. Hey boys, you ready to get after it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna open the door up. Oh, we're gonna fight. Those two are gonna fight. This is awesome. I gotta figure out who's alpha male here. Figure out who's the boss. Hey, 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 hey. Push these guys away a little bit so they don't hurt any fences. So. These guys won't do this very long. Um, they haven't seen each other in a while. They ran with each other last year for a bit. Um, so they're just gonna figure out who's boss. Once they establish that, they'll come right down and do their thing. But anyways, we got this piece for a few months. The story on this is it's been overgrazed heavily. And I think you can tell by the thistle, obviously. It's been super overgrazed hard impact on it. So we're going to bring our bulls in and let them see what they can do. Like we're just loaded with thistle. It's just got so dang much out here. But check out the grass underneath though. Like it's just beautiful. We got some Johnson grass there. They'll go after. Lots of fescue, clovers. i seen some orchard grass, Timothy in here. We're pretty excited. I think these bulls will be excited to get on some good food. We've kind of been pushing them lately pretty good. They were in a four acre little paddock that they had eaten down. So, we're gonna strip across here down to that barn. We got a water hole down to that pond. It's really hard to see what's going on here because this forage is so tall. So on this lease piece, I'm going to show you guys um, thistles will grow in hard compact areas and poor soil quality areas. As if you can see, you see that red clay. There's not a lot of soil quality here. There's not a lot of don't have any kind of a litter bank because it's been conventionally grazed, grazed down to the dirt, guys. So we're going to try to restore, get a litter bank going. You know, we only got this piece for a few months. Maybe, maybe we can get it again, maybe we can't. But either way, wherever we go, we're going to make the land better than when we found it. And there's tons of thistles on here. And if you look down, these thistles are growing in the rough areas that are just very compact, hard hard soily clay soils so you know thistles love to grow the best ways to you know to get rid of thistles would be get a shovel and dig them out but I'm afraid this one got away from somebody real fast so we may pull out our shovel and do a little digging but there's a lot here so we're gonna just try to correctly correctly graze it and See what we can do that way, you know. You gotta do what you can do in the context and the lifestyle that you want to live. Don't overwhelm yourself, you know, everything's a work in progress. Make steps each and every day to be one step closer. You don't gotta tackle the whole thing all at once. So up here you can see same thing here. We start seeing a lot of rock, red clay soil, and we got tons of thistle. Thistle loves hard soil. See, we got no grass grown there. There's no litter bank. I think it'd be pretty difficult to find an earthworm here because there's nothing for meat, which this is the first year that it's been able to grow up like this. You know, if it could grow up like this and then fall over and you get a litter bank going, totally change it. But since there's no litter bank, the soil, the soil is what it is still. You know, it takes years to rebuild soil. So, 
one step process and you just keep doing what you can do so darn excited so there's tons of forage here we're gonna really tromp this forage down these boys are gonna go at it again to figure out who's boss and it looks like the back one's gonna be boss he's gonna I think he's gonna take the cake these two bulls are three-year-olds we just turned three in uh, April um, one of these bulls is from Bruce the other bull is from Ralph Voss and they're growing pretty good I think this third year we're really gonna see what they can do and how they fill out and so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below we got our helpers here closing the doors trying to teach them how to work along the process you know this is for us this is a lifestyle something we want to create in our family it's pretty cool to be out on the land moving animals watching grass grow you know just being a part of nature so I'll quit rambling, but we will see you guys in the next video.